Hey friends, Jennifer here with Monroe Family Farm. So I'm out in the, the pasture, the small pasture where Abby has been staying. And uh, I'm just cleaning up, you know, her stuff around here. And I had my phone in my back pocket and this silly little girl, she's so funny. She comes and she starts grabbing my phone out of my pocket. So I figured that would be just the perfect time for me to jump on. We finally got the fourth piglet in with the other three piglets, which is a huge blessing because, um, well, for one, we can now get her friendly instead of being so afraid of people. And I held her for a while and she actually calmed down pretty quick. So that was definitely a good thing. Um, her and her sisters, are trying to figure out dominance, which is always just rough as a parent to watch your your kids duking it out. But they seem to be doing all right now. This one right here was the one that was just kind of running all over the place and, and doing what she wanted. Um, you could tell she's a little bit bigger than the other ones because she's been eating really, really well. They're all pretty big though, let's not get that wrong at all. They are all very good size and yeah, they're doing good. They are doing good. And they will let us pet them. Um, they're getting better. We'll say that. So no, I think they need a little bit more hay. Mm, um, but yeah, so they're doing really good. Chubbs is doing better. I don't know if you guys remember me saying how um, he was really weak and we actually thought we were going to lose him um, but he is doing much better he's actually already put on a little bit of weight and he seems to be doing better right yeah um, another interesting thing we have going on which I'm kind of nervous to even be out here down here in this area Oh man, yeah, there's a little visitor that keeps on popping out of that spot right here. Oh, you're getting mad. Well, you cannot go back with your mama. This is your new home, so you better get used to it. They actually like all that hay. Don't let that fool you. They like head, uh, hay being thrown on their heads. Ah, uh, but look, they're gonna all start I think they're pushing her out, which is why she's getting upset, but... She's trying to find a way home. Yeah. Hopefully... See, what happened last time is she was in here with them, but she was able to push this open and get out. Back to the little visitor. You! <gasps> she's trying to lick the peanut get butter. Out of here. So, this is a little uh, oh. experiment. The little visitor is going to climb up there and try to get to the peanut butter. Are they fighting? Yep. Live action. That's not nice action, though. It's live. Bro. It is. And if you guys act now, huh. we'll throw, give you a special <laughs> pay-per-view. So pig wrestling. Pig wrestling. We got some pig wrestling around. <laughs> Like I was saying, the babies are trying to figure out who's boss. Oh, and then we got other live action. Hey! Oh, hey, Mom. Who is it? Alexia. Hi. She told me to act oh. like a wild hooligan. You're talking to your sister on the phone? Uh-huh. So, the little visitor, I'm just going to tell you. If I get it on video to show you, then great. But if not, it is a tiny little mouse. It's cute. It is not cute. It's too cute. So, anyways, the little visitor that we have is an itty bitty little mouse, about oh, like that big, I guess. Tiny little thing, and I guess he's been hanging out in Chubbs. <gasps> She's getting out. Oh. Oh. She did get out. Oh. Not with this. Aw, you guys. The piglet just got out. This little stinker, I tell you. She's running back to her mom. She 
just got out. She literally pushed this board here out of the way. And yeah, she's strong. She's a strong little thing because the rest of them don't try to get out. Anyways, they better not try to get out. If they get out, we're in trouble. Mm. Well, anyways, back to the little my mouse. Uh, there's a little gray mouse that's been sleeping with Chubbs. And then hanging out with the other little piglets. The kids think it's adorable. I don't think it's cute at all. Not even a little bit. But they think it's so cute. So cute. Oh, mom, it looks like a little chinchilla. That this is what they have ready for it. They want to put the mouse in a cage. They want to keep the mouse, you guys. So, <sighs> I have no say in the matter. I'm just mom. If dad allows it and starts telling him what to do and how to keep it, then anything I say is forget about it. You ever, want to, you ever want to kill an animal or you give it to them? <laughs> oh, no. Hey, maybe that's what Well, my husband says if you ever want to kill an animal, you give it to my kids. Because, all right, so my daughter had a, uh, well, she had two um, hermit crabs and one of them died a long time ago. Um, but we had the first one, I don't know, since the beginning of summer and she forgot to take care of it when the frost came and I think it froze to death and died. So she was pretty upset about that. She, um, she just found out like yesterday and she was pretty bummed. So yeah, that kind of sucked. Poor thing. I felt really bad for her. She was almost in tears. Uh, and I know it's just a hermit crab. <laughs> and, uh, but she was really trying her best to, to keep it alive. And she would make little food concoctions for it and everything. And uh, unfortunately, she forgot that it was a, a warm weather animal and it cannot stay outside. So unfortunately, it's a little learning experience. Um, but with this mouse, Hopefully they can keep it alive. I mean, I don't really want it. I don't, all right, let's put it. I don't want the mouse. I don't want Alexia to kill the mouse because then it's going to hurt her. So I want her to keep it alive. I just don't want it here. <laughs> I don't want it alive here. Look how pretty it is back there. Do you guys see how pretty those leaves are? Man, it's so pretty. I absolutely love autumn of course um the sun is starting to set so this is that beautiful beautiful golden hour where everything just kind of glows the kids are playing um i'll let you know how our trap works out if it does work i'll give you more details on what we did to make it um but for now i'm not going to give you any details because i don't know if it's going to work or not but it should i don't see why it won't Animals love peanut butter. Oh, and just to give you guys another quick update, um, I've got this stuff. Here, I'm going to be giving this to the girls that are lactating. So Ruby, Piper, and Daisy are going to get this. And this is just um, an extra protein. And then also, um, I think I'm going to give some to Abby as well. This stuff is... Um, it's a supplement that you top dress and it has a little bit of a licorice smell to it. Um, it has 25% protein and it's not that high in fat, which is good, um, but it is some extra protein. And as you can see here, it's good for pretty much 
even poultry, you can give it to them as well, which is pretty cool. This is good to help them either lay more eggs for the poultry. So for Abby and for Daisy, it's going to help them put on weight. But then also for Daisy, Piper, and Ruby, it's going to help them to produce more milk. It's kind of late in the game for that, so I'm not 100% sure. Oh, let's see. There it is, you guys. Mousezilla. Mousezilla. The chinchilla. Mousezilla than chinchilla, huh? <laughs> wow. There you go. <laughs> so there you have it. You guys got a glimpse of the mouse. We will see if we get that little booger caught or not. Um, it's a little mouse. At least it's not like that rat that you guys saw if you guys watched my last video. If not, go check that out because that little rat was so ugly. Um, and so weaselly, like trying to stick his little head out of the trap and escape. He was so gross. But this little mouse is not as gross as the rat, but I don't like rodents. So uh, I just want it gone and out of my barn because if he stays in here, he's going to start eating the animal's food and he's going to start getting into the bag. Like they will eat through the bags and stuff like that. And I want to be able to keep... <laughs> I want to be able to keep this. <laughs> so now he's getting used to eating all the food. The cleanup crew. Yeah, the cleanup crew. I'll give him the cleanup crew. I'll be the cleanup crew. He's not going to like my kind of cleanup. I'm going to get cut. Jeez Louise. Uh, unbelievable. Gosh, we got a surprise. Yep. Oh, you better hurry up and cover it. That guy's gonna jump out. <laughs> put the put one of the bowls on top. Why? Just in Please. case the snake doesn't try to come and eat the mouse. Oh, he's trying to jump out. Oh, it's food bowl. <laughs> we got all these problems. It's only water. No, no. Oh, the food's right there. I see. Got him. So they put food nice, in here. Nice, Dad. Nice. Oh, careful, buddy. Get it got tiny. It's got a little little house in there if he wants to go and a hide. He has a, a hut. hut. A hut. Sorry, you guys. Are you proud? Is this a proud moment for you? They never escape me. I catch them all. And I'm assuming you're gonna leave that there just in case you catch anything else. Might as well. I might catch right. a lot right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. She'll be in big trouble. I should put some glue on it. Her tongue will be oh. stuck. Bad dog. You like him? That's your new little pet. Wow. He makes a good pet. Yeah, he really does. He, looks, he's he really cute. does look like a chinchilla, doesn't he? No, he does not look like a chinchilla. Maybe you'll cut his tail and he might look like it. Chinchillas don't have long, weasel-like oh, yeah, tails. Oh, yeah, he's eating. He got the mustache. Corn. Now he had corn and he's doing this. He's eating. He's just doing it? Yeah, he's, he's, he's still eating. doing it now. He's eating. That guy forgot all about being trapped. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. The problem is, it's buddy season. No, you scared him, mommy. You made him jump. A pet mouse. Aren't we just the luckiest people you ever? Yeah, put some on top. He's scared. You guys, that did not take long at all for that little mouse to get trapped. Since I first showed you guys and talked about it, it's probably been only about 20 minutes. Probably 15, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, somewhere around there. Somewhere between 15 minutes and 30 minutes. It literally happened like that. It was so fast. But uh, 
<laughs> oh man, I'm not thrilled about this new little friend. No. He just said we're gonna put him in the house. That is definitely. All those in favor, put him in the house. Say aye. Aye. No. All the yays speak. Yay doesn't matter because yay is gonna kick the eyes out. You can all sleep in the barn. Are you a yay? Listen. So you agree with us too? No. The eyes and the yays. The nay. I didn't say nay. I said yay. I know you tricked me. <laughs> the nay. I'm a nay. 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 No, nada. He can stay on here. He's not coming in the house. But he gotta have a heater. That's all. He doesn't need a heater. He does not need a heater. You think he had a heater last night? Yes. <laughs> yeah, he no. He has plenty of hay in there. Yeah, he looks fluffy. Oh, my word. <laughs> this is my life in a nutshell. Uh, I'm not always voted out, though. I have to say, the kids do side with me sometimes. But when it comes to the shenanigans, I don't do shenanigan stuff. That's my husband. He's the jokester prankster. So when it comes to stuff like this, he gets the votes with, from the kids because I'm more strict than he is. Look, and then Ruby. <laughs> Ruby's trying to get the food. Look at her. Ruby's over here. So before I was so rudely interrupted about the mouse, I wanted to show you guys the new feeding regimen and the food that we're giving all the animals. Let me get you guys turned around and show you what it is. I'm really happy about this new mixture. It's oats, corn, some sweet feed. It's also a 14% um, like it's a horse, it's a non GMO horse grain. The sweet feed is a 12% protein. The, the horse non GMO grain is a 14%. And like I said, this one here is a 25%, which is just a top dress, which I'm pretty sure they only get about, um, like, what does it say right here? So a lactating cow gets one to one and a half pounds per day. I need to weigh whatever it is that I'm gonna be putting it in and then figure out how much, um, like quarter of a cup, cup, whatever. And then this here is just the alfalfa pellets. We give the alfalfa pellets because right now we are uh, low on grass. It's already cold, so the grass is already at the point where it's not gonna start continue to grow very well and the hay that we have it's okay hay but they don't really love it so i feel like i'm being followed oh i am i'm being followed by this one here i'm like something sounds funny behind me so this is triple crown naturals pelleted horse feed organic minerals prebiotics probiotics it is an equine normally but Horses are very sensitive stomachs, and if a horse, and this, as you can see, it's soybean-free, whatever, it's GMO-free, and we, we also get this. This is from Rural King. We're blessed right now that we have a tractor supply and a Rural King right next to each other, and these oats are so much cheaper at Rural King than they are at tractor supply. We give the... Producers Pride Sweet Feed. Um, we do give the black oil sunflower seeds. And we do the beets. We don't do that all the time. Um, we try to mix them in here and there. And then we do Stan Lee alfalfa pellets. Um, typically, I would not feed this. The reason why I bought this bag is because... I was at Tractor Supply for about 20 minutes trying to figure out which feed I was going to get. This bag of Triple Crown horse feed normally goes for $30 a bag. And there is no way that I am paying $30 for a bag of feed. Um, so the lady there, I guess somebody had ordered like 10 pallets, which is about 400 400 um, bags of this food 
and then came back and told them that sh her horses didn't want it and she didn't want the food anymore. So the lady at the tractor supply was like, listen, do you want this food? And I'm like, I'm not, I was like, I can't, there's no way I can spend that kind of money on, on feed. They just go way, they go through it way too fast. I can't afford to do that. So she's like, I will sell you two bags for 30 bucks. And I was like, all right, that I can do. So, um, it seems like it's a really good grain. There's a lot of green in it. So I'm not really sure exactly what is in the bag. I'll have to look it over later if you guys are interested in what is in the bag, comment down below and I'll let you know. But she also told me that if I wanted to buy a pallet, she would give me uh, an amazing deal. I think she said a pallet had like 40 bags on it or something like that. And she would do it for $10 a bag. So as tempting as that is, uh, we're in the process of trying to move and I don't know what to think about that much food at that price. That's it's a good price, but that's a lot of food. And like I said, we're trying to move. So I don't really think it's feasible at this time, unfortunately, because $10 a bag for non-GMO food is a really good deal. But anyways, that's pretty much it for today. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up of what's going on. And again, letting you guys be a part of our crazy shenanigans and seeing our hysterical animals and what they're up to they're always up to something also thank you guys so much for watching i will keep you guys updated with what's going on if you want to follow along with the little piglets journey and with uh this little mouse make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know the next time that we post a video on the update for this and uh like our video it really helps our channel out and share it with your friends and other homesteaders or farmers that you think might get a kick out of our out of our content. But until next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you then. Bye bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a name for the mouse. His name is is Coco. Why is his name Coco? He lives in a cocoa. He lives in a nut. He lives in a cocoa. He lives in a nut. Yes. He is the cocoa. He's the cocoa that lives in a nut because of the coconut shell that's in here. Yeah, so his little hut is a coconut shell that they've kind of broke out a little door on it. So is he in there right now? Yeah, he's in there. Oh, he likes this coconut. Yeah. Oh, how cute. So Coco likes his nut. Coconut. <laughs> coconut hut, that is. So I <laughs> just thought I'd let you guys know. He even has a name. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, good gracious. I got to go make some chili. It's... What? Who? What? Who's going to eat it? Buddy. You're going to give it to Buddy? Those kids will kill you. My husband's so mean. What? You saying that you're gonna give it to Buddy? They're always playing. But my husband said that he was gonna give Coco to Buddy. Buddy is our our barn cat. If you guys don't know who Buddy is, he's very good <laughs> at being a barn cat. Um, so this little guy's life actually just got saved by Buddy, I'm sure, because Buddy. Uh, very rare that Buddy misses a beat. But I gotta get cooking. It is around five o'clock, so I need to get inside and start making some chili. And that's it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Until next time, be blessed.